Hello everyone. Welcome to Audit Codes Lab Number Nineteen. Today's topic is analysis of GFET Common Source Amplifier. So this is my GFET Common Source Amplifier. So over here we have uh, the coupling capacitors, input and output coupling capacitors CC1 and CC2, and uh, we have a bypass capacitor CS. Uh, basically, and uh, this is a self-biasing configuration for a JFET. Basically, and it's a common source configuration. The this is RS. Actually, it's by mistake written as RD. Sorry for that. And here we have to apply input as 10 millivolts peak, sine wave of 1 kilohertz, and output is measured across the drain terminal via the capacitor, the output coupling capacitor. And IDSS is given as 10 milliamperes. VP is given as minus 4 volt. Okay, the value of RD is 1 mega ohm, RD is uh, 3 kilo ohm, and value of RS is 1.5 kilo ohm. Okay, so first we'll do the DC analysis. So with the DC analysis, all the capacitors behave as open circuit. So we have left out with this DC equivalent circuit. So uh, here the IDSS and VP values are given, and the drain current uh, ID and IS terminal currents we have to find. Okay, so from this circuit, we can write Vg is equal to Ig into Rg, but uh, Vg is approximately equal to zero since Ig is zero because of reverse bias gate source junction in a JFET. Okay, now Vs is given by Id into Rs, where Rs is around 1200. So Vgs is given by, let me just expand it. Yeah, Vgs is given by Vg minus Vs, which is equal to minus Id into 1200. Now the drain current in a JFET is given by ID is equal to IDSS into 1 minus VGS upon VP the whole square. IDSS value is given, VP value is given, we substitute and this becomes equation number 2. Now from equation number 1 and 2 we get, uh, basically we substitute the value of equation number 2 in 1. So we get VGS equal to minus uh, 1200 into 10 into 10 raised to minus 3. So this value we are substituting into uh, 1 plus VGS upon 4 the whole square. So we have expanded this term. If you solve it algebraically, uh, you will get a quadratic equation in terms of VGS. So you will have 0 0.75 VGS square plus 7 VGS plus 12 equal to 0. So if you solve this quadratically in a calculator, you will get two values of VGS. One value will be minus 2.2629 volt. Uh, and second value will be minus 7.07 volt. Now, basically, we reject this value of minus 7.07 volts since VGS is less than VP over here. Now we have the value of VGS. We calculate the value of ID as follows. So ID will be IDSS into 1 minus VGS upon VP the whole square. And if you work out in a calculator, you will get ID as uh, 1.8859 milliamperes. So a two point which is VGS Q comma ID Q will be minus 2.2629 uh, volts comma uh, 1.8859 milliamperes. Now uh, for the JFET amplifier, we require the small signal parameter. So over here, GM is a small signal parameter, which is given by twice IDSS upon mod of VP into 1 minus VGS upon VP. Okay. So uh, it will be twice 10 milliampere divided by 4 into 1 minus minus uh, 2.269 divided by minus 4. So if you work out in a calculator, you will get a value of uh, 2.1713 milliampere per volt. Okay, now after the calculating the JFET parameters, the next thing is evaluating the small signal equivalent circuit with RS bypassed. Okay, so with RS bypassed, what will happen? If here it is RS actually by mistake, it is RD written. RS is bypass means what we have a connected a register connected a capacitor CS over there. So uh, in a small single equivalent circuit, which is actually mid frequency equivalent circuit, all the capacitors are assumed to be behaving as a almost like a short circuit. So your small signal equivalent circuit will look like this. So this is my hybrid pi model. Uh, between the gate and source, we have open circuit, and between the drain and source, we have GM into VGS current source. Okay, now V out is given by V out will be given by minus of Vm into Vgs. This is the current into the resistance. So why minus? Because it is an outgoing current. So here we have Vgs is equal to minus uh, Gm into Vgs. V out is equal to minus Gm into Vgs into Rd. 
and over here vgs is given by uh, vgs is equal to v you know that is not v pi it is actually vgs okay so v out upon v in will be given by minus gm into rd uh, which is whose value will be if you work out in a calculator it will be minus 6.5141 uh, okay no unit actually it's a voltage gain so the av the value of voltage gain is minus 6.1541 uh, minus 6.5141 and uh, this is the voltage gain with rs bypassed now whenever rs is unbypassed uh, the value of rs will appear into the small signal equivalent circuit so here the formula will change as uh, av will be now given as it will be slightly you know the the gain will slightly reduce actually drastically reduced in this case because we have unbypassed rs so the formula will be av is given by minus rd divided by 1 upon gm plus rs and if you substitute the values and work out in a calculator you will get avs minus 1.8066 so this is the voltage gain with rs and bypass and uh, now what we will do is we'll simulate this circuit in ld spice and check whether how consistent the values are with the theoretical okay i'll keep this in one side and open up the ld spice screen which i have already made up and kept it ready so that we can save time okay first thing is uh, we need to select the jfet from the uh, library so you need to just type njf and click on okay so that will appear onto the screen like this okay and whenever it appears it will name it as njf you change the name from right click and change the name to njf1 and we have to define the jfet parameters here the jfet parameters given are 10 and 4 milli uh, 10 milli amperes and 4 volt basically so that's what we also have to take 10 milli amperes and 4 and this is the circuit which we have built over here let me just slightly reduce it yeah so cc1 rg R, rs rd cc2 and cs so here it is all the things don't forget to label the gate drain and uh, you know source terminal so you can name as the gate capital g comma underscore your name and uh, source underscore your name and drain underscore your name that is very very mandatory so and uh, vd is applied as 18 volts so your uh, and and the supply the the v in is around 10 millivolts peak that is here in this case for selecting the sine wave we have to go to the library and type sign so this sign will uh, sign source will appear onto the schematic so you can select it like this so here also rename it as v underscore uh, your name and v out underscore your name label it as properly okay now to define the jfet parameter model here the jfet parameter model are ids is equal to 10 milliamperes vp is equal to minus 4 so in a jfet uh, you know vp can be written as vto directly vto equal to minus 4 so you need to right click over here go to draft and click on label net uh, sorry click on spice director and type this code dot model njf1 njf uh, bracket vto equal to minus 4 and all this you think you write over here okay so that's what we have written over here like this so you have to select the spice director please select the spice director if you select the command it won't uh, the circuit won't work Okay, now for accommodating IDSS value equal to 10 milliamperes, you have to substitute, uh, you know, the value like this. So beta is given by internally uh, IDSS upon VP square. So substitute 10 milliamperes divided by 16. So you will get 0.62 uh, pi into 10 is to minus 3. So that's what we have to write over here and click on OK. So that means my JFET is uh, whatever we have defined. It's having a value of IDSS as 10 milliampere and VP as minus 4 volts. So this step will, this dot model statement will make sure of that point. Okay, so let us first check the DC parameter values, whether we are getting, a, a, you know, the VGSQ and IDQ as properly as this value. So let me simulate. Uh, we have to, let me just cancel this first. Okay, and let me simulate now so it will ask you for the for a simulation command click on dc operating point and click on okay so the moment you click on okay you'll get the values of uh, of vg 
VG is zero almost as you can see VGS. So VGS will be minus two point two six two nine. Here it is also getting two point two six two nine theoretically. And what is the value of ID? ID is one point eight eight five eight. And here you are getting theoretically one point eight eight five nine. So at least you will be rest assured that the DC conditions are matching perfectly well. So over here it's matching perfectly well. Now we have to uh, calculate the values of. Let me just increase this slightly. Yeah. Now we have to calculate the values of the voltage gain. So for the voltage gain part, what we need to do is uh, we need to you know deactivate this dot op. So you can put a colon and click on OK. And again simulate. It will ask for the uh, simulation command. Give transient response. Now here the frequency is 1k. So here you can give it around 3 millisecond and click on OK. So a window screen will appear. Here you right click over here, click on Add Trace and add Veen underscore your name and uh, add also add your V out like this. So here it is. I am getting the output properly. Now we need to measure it. So right click on this, add the cursor, bring it to the maximum point, add click another, and add a second cursor and bring it down. So this total peak to peak value is around minus 65.03. So here also we are getting around. We can see over here. This is for uh, uh, I think uh, this is for uh, 10 millivolt peak to peak. So for 10 millivolt peak to peak, we are getting around minus 65.03 close to. So your calculated gain will be minus 65.03 divided by uh, this is peak to peak value basically. So that will be divided by 10. So that will be around. Uh, you will get around minus six point. Uh, you know, uh, five uh, minus six point five zero three something close to that. Okay. And uh, now, uh, secondly, what we need to do is uh, this is with uh, with the capacitor CS. That is this RSS bypassed. Now, if we remove the capacitor CS like this. Okay. And again, if we simulate this. Values have changed, right? So again, we can go to this right click, add the cursor over here, bring it to the maximum. Similarly, over here, okay. And whenever you take the print screen for uh, for your uh, you know a Google document, you need to take it like this with the cursor values written over here, okay. So this is the way you should have, and also you write the name and your roll number over here onto the uh, you know waveform schematic. Okay, so the values which we are getting over here is around uh, uh, eight minus uh, eighteen uh, volts, minus eighteen point zero two millivolts basically. So this is with unbypassed value. So for ten millivolt peak to peak value, if you remove the capacitor CS, uh, that is RS will be unbypassed. So you will get a uh, gain of around uh, you know minus one point eight, minus one point eight zero two basically. And the calculated value is minus 1.806, so that is quite close. Now we can repeat this with uh, the value with uh, with 20 millivolt signal also. So we can quickly check that. So if we if I change this to 10, uh, you know, I have to change it to let's say 10 millivolt. And if I observe the waveforms, I'll just check one value. Over here, so let's check how much we are getting. So let me keep to the peak value over here and peak value over here. Right now, my input is 20 millivolts peak to peak. I'm getting around minus 36.06. So, so it's quite close. So here again, if I check my AV observed value, it is minus 1.803. Okay, and it's quite close to one uh, minus 1.80. By which the calculated value. Now, if I put back my, uh, you know, CS. So, if I calculate it again, I am getting around minus 130. So that is very close. So yeah, we are getting around minus 130. And again, if we calculate, uh, if we divide that by, you know, 20 millivolt, uh, minus 130 millivolt divided by 20 millivolt, you will get around minus 6.51. Uh, sorry, minus 6.51. Uh, yeah. And calculated value is also coming out to be correctly. Okay, so this is how we can check the uh, 
you know the peak to peak amplitude for uh, for the output and that, that that's how we can uh, you know have all the voltage gain bypass and then bypass value over here with the help of ld twice okay now for today's lab you have to consider these values i mean the above circuit are just given for reference so you have to recalculate the q point and the voltage gains uh, you know over the same way which you have seen over here so for this audit course lab number 19 it is also for the vc lab number 9 so we have to consider these values the values of rd uh, rs have little bit changed and cs and cn and co is also changed so you have to consider over here the value of idss at 7 milliamperes and vps minus 2.5 this is by mistake written as rd this is actually rs okay so please consider that and you have to calculate uh, the 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 output voltage with bypass and n bypass and the voltage gain and we have to uh, prepare a table with the calculated and observed value okay so that is this is has to be done for v in equal to 20 millivolts peak to peak so this is your task for your uh, you know audit course lab number 19 or vc lab number 9 okay Okay, so that's it for this analysis of defect uh, common source amplifier. Next time we'll start with a MOSFET common source amplifier. So until then, have a good day and thank you.